We had some rain last night, well early hours this morning. It absolutely piddled down and a load of it went in there again. <sighs> right, so I want to put a belt on, but before I do that, I need to go and sort that out. Just what I think about it, um, I mentioned the other day the issue we're having with feral pigeons and them messing on my bales and thought I was going to have to do something about it. And more than a few of you said, oh, um, put some nets up in the roof of the barn to keep the pigeons out or stuff the plastic up over the beams to keep the pigeons out and stuff like that. But the thing is, you're still not going to stop them get up into skylights, which we need for ventilation. Um, the cost and the amount of time and effort and manpower to put up a set of nets in here would be more than I care to actually want to go and find out. And the thing is, there's things like the um, box I put up there, the owl box, which the pigeons have taken. Um, the idea of putting the owl box in there was so I could encourage certain. I want there's some birds I do want to keep in there. If I net it. I'm basically shutting it off to everything. We have a uh, resident kestrel, and depending on which way the wind blows, he either roosts up on this end of the barn, or he will go and roost down that end of the barn. He's, he's been here for a couple of years, and again, if I was to net the roof, as one of our residents up there, if I was to net the roof, he'd have to go and find a new home. He has been in the old barn, in that barn over there a couple of times, but he seems to prefer this one. So, although I think folks are trying to go, oh, we don't want you to shoot the feral pigeons, um, I have to weigh up the time and the cost of netting, plus all the downsides of doing that, um, against the cost of seven air gun pellets, because that's all that's going to cost me to move these guys on. It's only me being a bit soft and not not keen. I'm not keen to do it, but it's one of those things where I, I kind of have to. Um, I don't want to spend hundreds, if not thousands of pounds, putting nets and stuff up in here, and the time to do it against 10 pence. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? It's one of those things where certain things with running at the farm or whatever else, you have to be hard about it um, and whether you want to or not it is there's a sensible way of doing it or you can be not sensible I don't know I don't know if I've explained that very well but at the end of the day we won't be netting the barn out we're not we're not shutting out the castor we're not shutting out the owls it's just the pigeons okay we have seven feral pigeons they're becoming a nuisance I am gonna have to do something about it um, and that's it. That's only one thing I can do. Go on, you can go out. Sorry mate, did I make you jump? I'm sorry. Come on, I've got to give you a fresh bed. Move it! Out! Out you go. Go on. I've got to dig that out. Go on. Oh, oh, naughty words. Oh, someone's been knocking the feeder about. Right, you want to go back in again now? Go on, in you go. Go on, go on, go on, go on, in you go. In you go. Go on. Go on. There you go.
Now you can go out. Come on. Out. Come on. And you, Tiddler. Come on. Out. Go on. Where'd you come? Go on. Six, seven, eight. So there you go. It's taken me about eight minutes to scratch. Well, probably a couple of ton, I suppose. In the wet. Got the worst of the wet patch out. So where the water had run in, that's now back onto firm ground again. I can now recover that in fresh wood chip, and they'll have a fresh clean bed though.
then we'll go and do that bell. If I have time. I've got another job to do as well. level that themselves. Okay, so we've gone from a horrible nasty wet bed to a nice clean dry one. Now I'm happy. Now they can come back in again. That's it. I give you a clean bed. The first thing you do is come in and crap. Do you know, I'm sure <coughs> they see me come in here, cleaning it all up, making it. I'm sure they're out there with their legs crossed, holding it in, waiting for. There's another one. Just waiting for me to come in and give them a clean bed so they come in, crap all over it. Why? Like I said before, it does make me feel a lot less guilty about eating them. Oh yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Sometimes the brush isn't enough, you just need something like that. side now but I think I'll leave that till after lunch but um, this afternoon I've got a couple of chores to do as well need to pop over to Reg's place he's put some pallets aside for me for our logs so I promised to go and pick them up today um, when I go down and just check the sheep down the bottom make sure they're still in and um, just see what's happening with the pigeons uh, Reg has bought himself a another bird scarer I don't think it's a kite I think it's one of those big flashy turny spinny ball things 
um, and he's uh, charged me with, if I can find the time and the pair of old, old overalls, to make a scarecrow. I mean, it won't be long and the pigeons will be off the rape anyway, but he has suggested that maybe I could make a scarecrow. So maybe we'll, we'll look at that, perhaps over the weekend. Uh, in between all the other jobs I want to do, like hedge trimming. Right, a cup of tea and dinner.